Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Predatory Exotics. Today, we are gonna be rehousing our mantises that you saw we got last week from Ridgeway Exotics. Big thanks to them. Um, we're gonna rehouse them into these sort of deli cups we've got. These are 32 ounce containers, so a little bit bigger than the cricket tubs. We're gonna be decorating it with some fake plants and a few sticks that we got from there as well. Um, we've already got some dirt and some leaves and stuff like that to make it look a bit naturalistic. Um, we hope they enjoy it in their new home. So I'm going to be setting up the uh, giant Congo Mantis while Tom over here is going to be setting up our Ghost Mantis. So we're going to get into that now and start putting in our substrate. Okay, so do you want to start off with the substrate then? So we are going to be using uh, probably our favorite substrate, which is They're the, definitely the best company. Uh, Ar Arcadia Earth Mix. This is obviously the tropical one because these are tropical species. Um, so we're going to put just a base layer um, they don't really need a lot, it's just to sort of maintain a little bit of humidity. Um, you, they're not going to burrow or anything like that. So we're going to put, what, maybe an inch, centimetre or so? Yeah, it won't be too much. And uh, with the plants, as you can see, they are bigger than the actual pot we're using. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut off the top of the leaves, not use the actual uh, ceramic pot, because these are actually fish uh, tank <laughs> accessories. So, uh, yeah, but first we'll start off with the substrate. I'm going to get cutting on some of these. Get these out. I don't know if these will pull out. I'm gonna have to cut. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cut them. We have kind of an idea in our head of what the tanks are gonna look like, and hopefully it goes that way. Can you start? Off? Yeah. Could you put some of my cup? Please? How deep? Do you want a bit deeper than that? Um, yeah, probably a little bit deeper. Eventually, when we um, upgrade them into a bigger tank, we'll probably do a bioactive uh, setup for these guys. Um, yeah, about that. That's probably what we're after. Um, a bioactive setup, because I think that would look quite cool. Oh, that made life a lot easier. Okay. So we've got kind of different plants, different sticks for each uh, species that we have and we're putting in there. Um, and thankfully they do come with sphagnum moss inside as well, so we didn't have to purchase that. So just yeah. give, it a, give it a bit of a spray down. Uh, and we're probably gonna go for some kind of like teepee look with the with the branches. Gonna have to measure them out on uh Do you wanna put some sphagnum in there? Yeah, we'll get it out of the uh, enclosures. So if you guys haven't seen, I'll throw up some footage of each species that we have right now. As you can see, they are tiny. Look at this little guy go. Probably so curious about what's going on. Just put in pretty much most of the moss in there. And then let this guy back into there. Cool. Cool. The ghost is a lot calmer than the uh, than the Congo one. So like inquisitive, like you can see its head. So I'm looking around, seeing what's what. Yeah. Um. All right. So hopefully, my kind of idea plan was to uh, kind of inject these in yeah like that and kind of create a yeah. how do you want and then it'll kind of be uh some of the sticks did you cut yours in half i just kind of snapped mine to be fair and then i was gonna see how easily they uh they stayed so you want to give your mantis a little bit of room um, just so when it molts it can sort of hang from the top of the enclosure and hang down. That's why you always want your mantis enclosure to be two to three times as tall as the mantis so it can shed properly. Um, so we'll put this. So I'm kind of going for this kind of look of a... Uh, a two-piece thing that they can um, climb on. Now, of course, these guys don't weigh a lot, so it's very unlikely that they'll knock anything over. They're looking very nice. And we kind of wanted to go for two different kind of different looks for each uh, tank. 
So you can see we've left like this sort of area and then on yours you've left all this area that it can attach to the top of this mesh stuff. You can see it's like a mesh that their feet will sort of grip onto and they can hang down and molt and stuff like that and hopefully we get that on camera because that would be pretty cool. That would be something cool to get. We'd have to just keep an eye on them um, and hope that they... Uh... Do you want to put a couple leaves in them? Yes, we actually, yeah, that's another thing. We do have a couple of the, uh, what's the name? Ardisia? Ardisia, yeah, Ardisia yeah. leaves. Um, just to give the floor even more of a uh, kind of natural strain. Most of these guys will just climb anyway. Um, but it's just a breaking up of a couple leaves and uh, give it that extra bit of a natural look. Yeah, looking nice. It's like just creating like a miniature version of all these actual like other tanks we design. Looking pretty good. So we got these, um, probably not gonna be the last mantises we buy, so. No, definitely um, some other ones. These pots are quite cheap. I think you get like 10 for 10 quid or something like that. And then we've got these that we can add. We've got some sticks. Um, so it depends on what we wanna get next, really. Yeah, there's, there's a few species. Of course, this is the first species that we've actually kept, um, both of these mantises. Um, but definitely some other more interesting ones out there as well. Um, like the orchid mantis, that was in high demand actually. We spoke to the person at the store who said that it's hard to get them in right now. Even the ones like, we've got this obviously ghost mantis, but they come in a lot of different colors. Um, so you can see this one is like a, a brownish red phase. They can be like really dark red, like almost black, and they can range to like green and yellow. I think it depends. Some people say it's sort of incubation temperature. Um, and then I've also heard it depends on where they're from. So if they come from like a, a really humid environment, they're going to be more green because in humid areas, there's going to be more um, sort of plant life and stuff like that. Whereas if it's going to be dry and there's droughts, they want to blend in with more of the sticks and stuff, um, which is a pretty cool adaptation. So I think it's time to actually put these guys in our enclosure now. Um, you always you can see like these little antennas are... Oh. Sort of flashing his little antennas about. One sec, it's just taking a while to focus. See, this guy's probably getting a bit defensive on me, picking him up. So they're going to get quite big. We're going to have to sort of put them in like a 20, 20, 30. Um, I know this uh, Congo one's going to get bigger than the ghost one, so it might need, even need a bigger enclosure. Then we might even look to sort of breed in them eventually. Um, we don't know if they're male or female Sick yet. This guy in. Oh, uh. Yeah, man. There we go. Oh, and he's out again. This guy's pretty quick. Um, <laughs> oh. He's a jumper. Okay. That's not your enclosure, mate. Yours is the other one. Where's the lid? I need a lid. Thank you. So if I can get this guy in there and lid on. There we go. All right, he is in our enclosure now. Blends in pretty well with that sort of thing. Oh, so done. this guy's a bit of a jumper, is what we found out. As you can see, the um, uh, the ghost mantis is a lot more still and kind of blends in as a leaf in a way. And hopefully, this guy enjoys his enclosure. Actually, oh, quite sharp. Oh, you can feel it. He like did his little, uh, oh, little mantis bits. Yeah, 
very calm. And he is in there. That is a cool mantis. Now, of course, these guys are in there and they will get to learn their new enclosure. Very calm, the ghost mantis. Very cool. Now, uh, if you're wondering why we actually chose these species, now, of course, the ghost one um, looks, one I think, one of the coolest species of mantis if you actually get a close-up picture. Hopefully the camera picks it up, if not, just Google uh, a kind of picture of what they look like, kind of like an alien uh, type thing. And then we went with this guy, it's the, kind of more of the classic mantis, because he's going to get quite big, so that's kind of why we, uh, why we chose him, because it'd be a cool thing, once that of that size, to handle and, and show you guys. Um, but right then, now. very fascinating. He's actually cleaning his legs and stuff. Turn you guys around. Oh. He was. Now, of course, this is a great kind of pet, um, especially with children and stuff like that. Not really like handleable, but awesome to look at. Yeah, this size, yeah, they basically weigh nothing, so you have to be a bit careful handling them and stuff. I, I wouldn't get it for a kid. Um, but adults and stuff, they're, they're probably a lot better to use. Um, even these or stick insects are really perfect for kids and stuff like that. I feel like he'll like jump on his prey a lot. Mm. Like more. All right, so if you guys are wondering what kind of thing we're going to be feeding them at this size, we went with what the store recommended, and this is some uh, small crickets, uh, micro crickets actually, um, which are tiny, but they will go for anything of this kind of size. Yeah, so there was, uh, we chose probably the bigger ones in the store, the small ones were eating fruit flies, um, so we got these two which are a little bit bigger and they can start taking on the small crickets and stuff like that. Um, but once they get bigger then of course they're going to go for like small crickets and medium crickets like they'll go for um some definitely some larger prey so we hope you enjoyed our new mantis rehousing um they look nice and happy so far we will be feeding them next tuesday or thursday um see how they feed you can get all those updates on instagram and um, we'll put in more stuff there and obviously if you follow us on instagram you see all the updates of when we go to these shops and pick up stuff before the youtube video is released um, so make sure you go and check us out over there, as well as subscribing, liking and commenting on this video. That would be really appreciated. So until next time, guys, we hope you have enjoyed. Bye.